I'm going to share with you what's in tomato jam, why you need to be making tomato jam, and how simple it is to make tomato jam. Um, I'm Jenny, and I blog at The Domestic Wildflower, and I share homemade foods and crafts with uh, brand new beginners. And this season is canning season, my favorite season. Um, and one recipe that I think a lot of people don't think of when they think of canning is tomato jam. And you think of tomato jam and you think like, ugh, like sweet tomatoes, yuck. Like it sounds kind of like ketchup, like it doesn't sound amazing, right? Tomato jam, or my tomato jam recipe is actually super delish and is very savory. And I want you to think of it more like a condiment. Um, the ingredients in my tomato jam recipe that you can get on the domestic wildflower <clears throat> is um, as follows. So I use Roma tomatoes, but you can use whatever tomatoes you get at the farmer's market or in the grocery store that you grow or whatever. Um, you need about six pounds of tomatoes for the recipe and a little bit of salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic, um, bay leaves, a little bit of sugar, um, balsamic vinegar, which I would say is the magic ingredient. Maybe not secret ingredient, but definitely magic ingredient. Dry white wine, um, and some herbs. And I like to make my tomato jam in a steam canner. Um, a steam canner is a lot like a water bath, a traditional water bath canner, except for it uses steam instead of just submersion in a boiling water pot. And um, what that means for you as the canner is that you are ready to can in five minutes as opposed to like 25 or 30 minutes. So they are much faster, much lighter weight, and much safer for those reasons. Um, and I have of many blog posts about steam canners and in the blog post about tomato jam I link to those blog posts and tell you a little bit more about them but the basic process is that you prepare your tomatoes seasonings bay leaf and you simmer together in a wide heavy bottom pan for about 45 minutes which I know takes a little while tomato recipes typically take a little while um, and then you can make it super smooth with either a food mill or an immersion blender or just a regular blender if you wanted. Make sure you pull those bay leaves out. And then you would ladle them into your hot canning jars um, that either were hot in the steam canner or hot in the um, traditional water bath. And you'd put on your brand new lids and rings and you'd put them back in the water bath or the steam canner and you'd process for 10 minutes. Um, and then in 10 minutes, then, th then you have delicious homemade canned tomato jam that you can enjoy all winter long when you cannot get a fresh tasting tomato anywhere. Um, and the way that I like to enjoy my tomato jam, I think it's the best like with goat cheese on top of pasta. Like, it's really good on an everything bagel with cream cheese. Can you tell I really like full fat dairy? That's my favorite. Um, and it's just is really good also on like a turkey sandwich with, I don't whatever you put on your turkey sandwiches, but it's very good on a turkey sandwich. Um, and it kind of just replaces that sliced tomato anywhere you would want to replace a sliced tomato, right? It's rich and savory and like salty and vinegary and delish. Just think of it in the way that you would, like uh, replacing a tomato, not like a jam. Like jams, like raspberries, right? That's Those are delicious, but not, not what this is. On the blog post on the Domestic Wildflower, you'll see um, one way that we made the tomato jam and served it was with fried risotto balls. And it made me think like delicious homemade like fried mozzarella cheese sticks or something would be, that'd be delish. It'd be super good. So that is how you make the tomato jam, what's in the tomato jam, and why you need to be making it because it's a really delicious thing that you can enjoy all year long and it's like a really delicious pantry staple that's so much better than something you could buy in the store. So again, you can grab the recipe on the Domestic Wildflower and I'll link it where I can link it here. Um, but if you have any questions, please send them my way and we'll be sharing more recipes soon. Mm -hmm.